Welcome to our review on fertilizers and crop yields. First thing we need to understand then is that plants need certain things to grow. And what they need are three essential elements, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, what we actually find is we can add fertilizers to the soil to actually add these essential elements to it to enable the plants to grow, to produce a higher yield. So if we consider one particular fertilizer, ammonium nitrate, which has the formula NH4NO3, then in there we can see that out of those three essential elements, the only one we've got is nitrogen, and we've got two nitrogen atoms present there. If we consider another fertilizer, potassium phosphate, K3PO4, then what we've got are the potassium and phosphorus ions in there. So what we actually have are three potassium and one phosphorus. So depending on what our soil is lacking, we'll determine which fertilizer we need to use. Some of them will have plenty of nitrogen, but be lacking in phosphorus and potassium, in which case we'd use potassium phosphate. Others might be fine for potassium and phosphorus, and then they just need some nitrogen. So ammonium nitrate would be our solution. What we do need to remember though, is that all of these fertilizers that we're adding must be soluble in water. The only way that our minerals or our fertilizer can actually get into the plant is if it's dissolved in water and taken in through the roots. So remember that fertilizers must be soluble in water to be taken in through the plant's roots. So if we think about what a fertilizer actually is, we're referring to a chemical that's gonna provide plants with these essential elements. So fertilizers make plants grow faster, they make them grow bigger, and they increase the crop yield. And remember, they must be soluble in water to do this. If we use too much fertilizer, however, we do get a significant problem. And this problem is a process called eutrophication. So what we've actually done here is we've polluted our water supplies, and this can actually lead to the death of living organisms in the water. So eutrophication is the result of overuse of fertilizers in our farmers' fields. In terms of how eutrophication actually comes about then, the first thing that happens is the fertilizers wash into rivers or lakes. Then as a result of that, what we see is an increase in the amount of nitrates or phosphate in the water. Because we've got more nitrates and phosphate in the water, algae grow much faster and create something called an algal bloom. This then means that the surface is covered by algae. So the plants that would normally be growing under the water are too shaded and therefore die. What we then see as a result of those dead plants being present, we've got our aerobic decay bacteria coming in and they use up the oxygen in the water. Because the oxygen in the water has been used up by the bacteria carrying out decay, anything like fish or other living organisms in the water will die as a result of the lack of oxygen. So first point you'd get is for saying that fertilizers wash into the river. Second one is for talking about the algae blooming okay so the faster growth of the algae leading to an algal bloom third one you could get for saying that the plants won't get enough light and therefore they die next one you could say about bacteria using up the oxygen as they carry out decay and finally things like fish dying as a result of the lack of oxygen